Hello everyone, welcome to the InfoSec train. My name is Ayush and I will be your instructor for this entire session. In this particular session, we are going to discuss interview question specifically on AWS. I am not only going to discuss question answer, but also I will explain the concept so that you don't have to cram these answer. If you learn the concept, then you can easily address interview question and as well as you can structure your own answer. This is AWS Shield. Team AWS Shield is used to protect or shield our application from DOS and DDoS attacks. And AWS Shield Standard and Shield Advanced provide protection against distributive denial of service that is DDoS attacks for AWS resources at the network and transport layer. That is layer three and layer four. A DDoS attack is the attack in which multiple comprised systems try to flood a target with traffic. A DDoS attack can prevent legitimate end users from accessing the target service and can cause the target to crash due to overmilling traffic volume. Now team, AWS Shield provides protection against a wide range of, of known DDoS attacks and zero day attack vector Shield detection and mitigation is designed to provide coverage against threat. Now team, moving on to the next question. What is Transit Gateway? So team, AWS Transit Gateway provides a hub and spoke design for connecting VPCs and on-premises network as a fully managed service without requiring you to provision virtual appliances like Cisco, CSRs, no VPN overlay is required and AWS manages high availability and scalability. Transit Gateway enables customer to connect thousands of VPC and Transit Gateway controls how traffic is routed among all the connected spoke networks using route tables. And Transit Gateway is a uh, regional resource and can connect thousands of VPC within same AWS region. And you can create multiple transit gate, gateways per region, but transit gateway within an AWS region cannot be peered. And you can connect to a maximum of three transit gateway. Now team, moving on to the next question. So next question is what is VPC flow logs? So team, VPC flow logs is a feature that enables you to capture information about the IP traffic going to and from network interfaces in your VPC. So flow log data can be published to Amazon Cloud Logs or Amazon S3. After you have created a flow log, you can retrieve and view its data in the chosen destination. And flow logs can help you with number of tasks such as diagnosis, overlaying restrictions, security group rules, monitoring the traffic that is reaching your instances, determining the direction of the traffic to and from the network interfaces. And this flow log data is collected outside of the path of your network traffic and therefore does not affect network throughput or latency. You can create a uh, flow logs for VPC subnet or a network interface. And flow logs don't monitor packet contents for that we require a packet sniffer. Now team moving on to the next question. That is what is Amazon Kinesis? Team Amazon Kinesis makes it easy to collect, process, and analyze real-time streaming data so you can get timely insights and react quickly to new information. Amazon Kinesis, you can ingest real-time data such as videos, audios, application logs, website, and IoT telemetry, data for machine learning, analytics, and other application. And it enables you to process and analyze data as it arrives and respond instantly instead of having to wait until all your data is collected before the processing can begin. Now team, moving on to the next question. What is Elastic File System? So team, Elastic File System is an AWS managed implementation of NFS which allows for the creation of shared file system, which can be mounted within multi EC2 instances. To support a wide variety of cloud storage workloads, Amazon EFS offers two uh, performance mode, that is general purpose mode, and second one is maximum input output mode. If you talk about general purpose, is ideal for latency sensitive use cases. 
like web serving environments, content management system, general file serving. And if you don't choose a uh, performance mode, when you create your file system, EFS selects the general purpose mode for you by default. And a file system can scale to a high levels of aggregate throughput and operation per second. This scaling is done with a trade-off slightly high latency for file metadata operations. And team EFS uses lifecycle policies with the classes. Now, moving on to the next question, what is database migration services? So team database migration service is a managed service which allows for zero data loss or zero downtime migration between two database endpoints. And this service is capable of moving data into or out of AWS. It is a managed database migration service and runs using replication instances. Source and destination endpoints at source and target databases and one endpoint must be on AWS. And one more thing team adding on this, schema conversion tools can assist with schema conversion. Now moving on to the next question, what is Amazon resource names ARN? So team ARN is a uniquely identify AWS resources. We require ARN when you need to specify resource unambiguously across all of AWS, such as in IAM policies, Amazon relational databases, tags, and API calls. Now team moving on to the next question, what is Docker? So team, Docker is an open platform for developing, shipping, and running application. Docker enables you to separate your application from your infrastructure so you can deliver software quickly and with Docker, you can manage your infrastructure in the same way you manage your application. By taking advantage of Docker's methodologies for shipping, testing, and deploying code quickly, you can significantly reduce the delay between writing code, running it in production. And Docker files are used to build images and containers are lightweight and they are using uh, parent OS now containers only runs the application and environment it needs provides much of the isolations VMs too. Now team moving on to the next question. What is AWS ECS? Now team ECS stands for elastic container service and it is a fully managed container orchestration service that helps you easily deploy, manage and scale containerized application. It deeply integrates with the rest of the AWS platform to provide a secure and easy to use solution for running container workloads in the cloud and now on your infrastructure with Amazon ECS anywhere. And Amazon ECS leverages a serverless technology from AWS Fargate to deliver autonomous container operations, which reduce the time spent on configuration, patching, and security. Instead of worrying about managing the control panel, add-ons, and nodes, Amazon ECS enables you to rapidly build application and grow your business. Now, team, moving on to the next question. What is Amazon Elastic Container Registry? So, team, Amazon ECR is a managed AWS Docker registry service that is secure, scalable, and reliable. ECR support private Docker repositories with resource-based permission using IAM so that a specific user or task can access repositories and images. Developer can use the Docker CLI to push, pull, and manage images. 